how to use Restream. Hello, welcome to our channel WebWiz and in this tutorial I will teach you how to use Restream. So please watch till the end of the video to properly understand the tutorial. And if you guys are wondering you can check out the Restream website rightly by clicking the link down there in the video description below. So without further ado let's get started. So first what is Restream? So as you can see on the screen Restream is a uh, online platform that you can browse on the internet that lets you stream or it's a streaming platform that lets you stream over multiple channels at once simul simultaneously so in this uh platform you can you know stream to your youtube to your instagram or any other uh platform or channel you want in one go so as you can see right here you will see all of their trusted companies that use their platform so that lets you know that this uh restream platform is very trusted by many and you know they are also being used by famous uh streamers on twitch youtube and etc etc so as you can see it lets you uh makes uh it's just a uh streaming platform that lets you use multi-streaming so compared to other uh, streaming platform restream also has a multi-stream uh, function so you, you can just uh, collect all of your channels and you know stream on your channels different of your channels at once so this is the multi-stream function and yeah it's it's really helpful for streamers to improve their channel it multiply your views and it multiplies also your audience so right here this is the uh, easiest way to improve your views and improve your popularity so as you can see they are also providing different plans so we there are, are three plans so they are basic plan or the free plan this is the this is the one that you use for free and also the standard plan and the professional so they have uh, different kinds of benefits each plan so basics you only have you can connect obs zoom etc or use restream studio as your streaming platform and you can also are you you can only multi-stream on two channels max on free plan but if you upgrade on standard, you can just multi-stream on five channels for $16 per month. So yeah, it's quite cheap for some people. But based on the benefits that you will receive, it's definitely worth a try. So yeah, so I prefer that you use standard for, you know, to use the full capacity of the multi-stream multi uh, function. And yeah, you don't actually need to have a professional, uh, you know, plan because it's does it does not uh you know gives you a worth worthy function for a 41 dollars per month so a standard is very popular it's being used by and every famous youtubers or streamers and yeah this is the preferred ones the starter one so yeah you can actually add your logo custom logos and branding you can also have a theme so we will discuss what themes later when we uh, go to the dashboard so you can also unlock custom rtmp streaming you can unlock screen uh, participant on screen participant and also guest channels and yeah you can record something or use pre-recorded pre stream with a limit of six hours so yeah that's only the benefits of the standard and it's worthy so if you want to make an account you can just click login on the top right side of the corner of the page and after you click login you can just log in with your google account i refer to do this or you can just create your account using your gmail so me i'm just going to log in with my google account and after that it will start loading to the dashboard of the restream so as you can see this is the dashboard or the menu of the restream as you can see on the stream you can actually stream right away with obs and zoom or you can stream using the restream studio you can up upload a video pre-recorded video file to stream or you can add your channels and also you can uh, schedule a stream so as you can see right here on the right left side there are many uh tools that you can use so as you can see there are also live shopping so you can just enter your you know uh online shop store link and right here you can just connect it in your in your stream account so that when you stream the online shop 
will appear as your overlay and the people or the audience can see it. So you can just, you know, share your link of your Shopify, your Equid, your WordPress, etc, etc. Right here and they will show up in your stream. So actually, you can also go to the events tab. So here in events, you can actually schedule a stream. So an event is actually a, a stream, for example, or a, a an event of the stream that you can schedule. So for example, you can just schedule a gameplay walkthrough so that your audience can see it and they all look forward to it. And yeah, that's the uh, purpose of events in streaming uh, industry. So right here, you can just also go to the video footage tab. So right here on the video footage tab, you can just upload uh, videos from your device so that you can use it as your pre-recorded stream and you can just edit then or you can just uh, edit or record right away on the Restream Studio. So Restream also provides a recording studio, as I said earlier, and you can just make videos to stream later. And actually, you have a limited uh, videos depending on the plan that you pick so you can just upload a certain amount of videos so as you can see when i upload something as you can see there is a bar right here so this is the limit so this is the uh, uh the percentage of the amount that i can only upload in my restream account so right here after you upload the video it will appear right here on the recordings so it start uploading rightly. So after the, this video is finished uploading, it will, you know, appear right here on the recording. So right here, if you go to the recordings, as I said, you can just click start recording and it will redirect you to the stream studio and you will just record something that you want. And as you can see, when I click it, it will start loading and it will redirect me rightly on the a recording studio of the restream so i'm just going to show you what this what is the ui or the interface look like so this is the first thing you will see you need to allow your mic and camera and after that you just need to provide a name and you can enter the studio so this is the user interface of the studio as you can see it's easy to get you can just you know edit your layouts right here on the bottom part you can also add designs right here on the right side. You can add design, you can add backgrounds, you can add captions, or you can add, you know, QR codes for donation. You can just explore this. It's easy to get because this is a family friendly. It doesn't have a complex uh, options or tools compared to other streaming platform or third party streaming platform just like OBS and that's it it's easy to get so if you like more engaging streams so you can just use your preferred third party streaming platform because this uh restream studio is not you know applicable to that so let's go back to the dashboard so right here let's go to the teams tab so let's discuss the teams so this teams is like for example, YouTubers, famous YouTubers have their own uh, moderators that manage their stream, their comment section. This Teams is the one who do that. So in Teams tabs, you can just invite members or your friends, for example, so that you can add them as your moderator or you can, you know, make them a, into a certain role that, you know, helps your streaming and yeah that's it so now i only have one lab uh, member to add because i only use basic plans and that's it so if you click these three dots right here on the bottom part you will see another option so let's go to analytics so right here on the analytics it should be you know common knowledge so in analytics you can manage all the data that you collected when you're streaming so for example the number of streams that you made the average views, the maximum views, the streaming time, and your maximum streaming time. So right here, you can just, you know, find all the points of improvement in your stream so that you can adjust whether you will need to improve something, whether it's your facing, your average uh, streaming time, and that's it. You can just look the look at the accurate data that you can see also the graph you can also manage this to improve your popularity and that's it that's all for the analytics and actually i don't have a stats right now because i don't have a channel and i i didn't set up my restream so let's set up my restream let's go to the home page and right here on the home page you will see the add channels right here on the right so just click that so after that this window will appear where you can see all channels that you can add 
add in your stream account so me i'm just going to add my youtube account as my first channel so you know uh take note that i only get to add two channels because i only use basic plan so this is the benefits of the basic plan you can just add two channels maximum so i'm just going to add my youtube first then after that I'm just going to add another channel so by just adding you could just connect your account on that channel so i'm just going to uh, sign in my account and authorize this and after that as you can see i added my two accounts so they are active right now so after you add your account you can just start streaming with the stream studio you can just connect your obs or you can schedule a stream so me i'm just going to schedule a stream so after that i'm just going to use restream studio as my you know platform and i'm just going to add the title on my stream and also the date and after that just click next and what after what will appear after that is this so you need to turn on all the channels you want to stream with so me i'm just going to turn on my youtube and twitch account because that is the maximum so after that i'm just going to create an event that's it that's basically it so make sure that your setup of streaming is ready before the date of the scheduled stream so that you don't have a problem so after you click the create event it will show you a link that you can share to your friends so that they will see your scheduled streaming on the stream studio so basically you will stream on three platforms on the two channels that you added and as well as the stream studio and that's it so for example if you want to see i will show you what it looks like i'm just going to go to my youtube account and as you can see right here i'll see my scheduled stream of restream and that's it that's how you use stream or use multi-streaming on restream and that's it that's all for this tutorial i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you like more please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye